So in the world of sheet metal and 3D CAD, a very common question that comes up is, what is K-Factor? And in today's video, we're gonna explain what K-Factor is and how it can help you. But before we can get into that, we have to appreciate what happens when you bend sheet metal, particularly in the corners that are being bent. What you're going to experience is material deformation. This is sometimes called bend deformation. So you can see in the illustration on the right, the inside corner is going to experience compression and the outside corner is going to experience expansion. And because of that, we're gonna get a deformation of the material in the corners. Now, the reason this is important in 3D CAD and sheet metal is because we're always trying to figure out what should the flat length be of the sheet metal. We cut the material to the flat length and then we bend it up from that flat length. So that flat length is very important. But the thing is, we can't just measure the outside edge of the sheet metal 287.98 and make the flat pattern that length. And we can't just measure the inside edges of the sheet metal 275.42 and cut the material to that length. These dimensions are not gonna be correct. The flat pattern length is gonna be somewhere in between because of the material deformation that occurs in the corners. So what we used to do in sheet metal is we would have these charts, they were called bend allowance or bend deduction charts. I remember I used to have a chart like this hanging up in the shop where I worked. And what you would do is you would use a formula, like the formula here in the upper right says L1 plus L2 plus L3 minus Q minus Q gives us the flat length that we could cut the material to. So in the case of this model, L1, L2, and L3 are 40, 60, and 20. Now Q is determined by looking at the chart. First, we look at our default material wall thickness, two millimeters. Then we look at our default bend radius, six millimeters, and that gives us a Q value of 5.5. And so what we do is we take 40 plus 60 plus 20 minus 5.5 minus 5.5, and that gives us our flat length, 109 millimeters. That's what we're gonna cut the material to. The thing is this works really well when all the bends are the same radius and the same angle, 90 degrees, but it can lead to a problem if the radius is not uniform or if the angle is not 90 degrees. And this is where K-Factor can really help us out in sheet metal. So this is what we're gonna talk about today. And if that sounds good to you, be sure to hit the like button on this video. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. And if you like my style of teaching, visit us over at tutaltoby.com slash training. We got an awesome tips and tricks class coming up later this month. We're gonna spend two days learning all kinds of time-saving tips and tricks in SolidWorks. And we're just about done with our sheet metal training class. We're gonna be releasing that soon. So keep checking out the website if you're interested in taking some sheet metal training. All right, let's get into it here in SolidWorks. Here we can see that model we were looking at a moment ago. It's got a wall thickness of two millimeters. It's got an inside bend radius of six millimeters. And when we define sheet metal, there's a feature over here in the tree called sheet metal. This is the overall folder. And then there's a second feature called sheet metal. This is the sheet metal feature for just that body. And so I'm gonna edit that feature here and we can see that there's an option to override default parameters. So the default parameters are set up here in the main folder, edit feature. Here you can see the bend allowance option. And then here's the parameters just for this sheet metal body edit feature. Really, you could edit either one of them because this is just a single body part, but sometimes that can be a little confusing. So I just wanted to point that out to everybody. So I'm going to say I'm going to override the default parameters and I'm going to go in here and use the option for bend deduction. With bend deduction, what we do, let's see, if we bring up the help here, we can see that with bend deduction, that's this lower one here, what we do is we measure to the virtual sharp we measure to the sharp corner and then we remove the value that we input that's like your Q value from that earlier chart with bend allowance what you do is you measure to the flat spot and then you add a, a Q value it's probably called something different but then you add a value here for your bend allowance so you measure to where the bend begins uh, with bend deduction you measure to the virtual sharp that's what we're going to be using here so we're gonna say that we're gonna use bend deduction and from that chart, we learned that our bend deduction value is 5.5 millimeters. And so we hit the green check mark and now let's turn this thing into a flat. So we're gonna go here to our sheet metal flat pattern. And then if we click on this edge here, this line of the flat pattern, we can look down in our status bar and we can see that that line yields a length of 
109 millimeters. Awesome. So we're measuring to the virtual sharp and then we're subtracting 5.5 for each corner. Now, if you go to the sheet metal flat pattern feature down here in the tree, you can right mouse button, you can say edit feature, you can choose to merge faces. And when you do merge faces, what that does is it merges everything together or you can right mouse button, you can say edit feature, you could say don't merge the faces. And if you don't merge the faces, then you can see what each bend region looks like. And we could also click on this edge here, which represents kind of the length of the arc. And that arc length is coming up as 10.5 millimeters. So a different option that I mentioned before when we're working in the formed sheet metal is we could say that we want to use bend allowance instead of bend deduction. So the whole category here is bend allowance, but the type of bend allowance could be bend table, K factor, bend allowance, bend deduction. Let's do bend allowance here. And so for this one, what we're going to do is we're going to measure to where the bend begins. And then we're going to add a flat length of 10.5 millimeters, the measurement that, that that flat section came out as when we used the previous calculation. So we hit the green check mark. So now whenever we go to a flat pattern, this region here will always calculate at a length of 10.5 millimeters. If we determine that's maybe a little too long or a little too short, we could edit the sheet metal feature here. We could say, actually, we want that to be 10.6 millimeters, 10.6 millimeters. It should be a little bit longer in that flat section. And so now when we go into the flat pattern, we click on that edge, we look down here in the status bar, 10.6 millimeters. So that's bend allowance versus bend deduction, two different ways of calculating the flat pattern. These were the only tools we had for a long time. And when we use something like bend allowance, we're saying that region is always going to be 10.6 millimeters long. Now, that can be a problem if we click on this edge here and we jump into the edge flange command and we choose to create an edge flange and maybe change the radius of that edge flange. So we're not going to use the default radius. We're going to make this radius 15, a much larger radius there in that corner. And so now the result of this thing is going to be that, you know, the length of that arc, you'd expect the length of that arc would be a lot longer. However, when we go back into the flat pattern, hmm, this looks the same as this and this. And that's because we're using bend allowance. We're saying that the length of our bends is always going to be 10.6 millimeters. And this is where we run into some problems that can be resolved with K factor. So what is K factor? K factor is a way of calculating the flat pattern length based on an offset distance from the original arc. So here's what I mean. If I go to the front plane and I begin a sketch, this line here is gonna be the same on the inside and the outside. So I could just do a convert entities, whatever the length of that line is, you know, 32 millimeters is the length of that line. That's what we would use for that section. This arc is not going to use the inside or the outside. It's going to use some offset distance into the material. And this is exactly what K factor is. So if I pick on that arc there and then I say offset entities and I say, I want this to offset to two millimeters, which is the wall thickness times two millimeters times 0 0.35. That 0 0.35 is our K factor. So we hit the green check mark there. And then if I create a smart dimension along that arc, pick this point, pick the arc, and then pick the other end point of the arc. That tells me that the length of that arc is 10.52 millimeters. So our K factor 0.35 actually got us pretty close to what our uh, bend deduction and bend allowance calculations came up with. So now for this segment here, I'm just going to do a convert entities. That length is not going to change. It's going to be... Uh, let's see here, 44 millimeters. Then for this arc here, I'm going to do another offset, offset entities, you know, two times 0 0.35, the K factor. Then this leg here is going to be 12 millimeters. It's not going to change. So I'll just do a convert entities. And then for this arc, we're always going to offset from the inside of that arc. So this is going to be an offset entities of two times 0 0.35, you know, two, the material thickness times the K factor. 
Okay, and then that gives us that offset length. And then this final length here, which is 13 millimeters, that's also just gonna be a convert entities. So if you imagine that we go through and we add this line length to this arc length, 10.52, plus this line length, plus this arc length, 10.52, uh, probably let's just confirm so click this endpoint click the arc click this endpoint there we go 10.52 uh, plus this length so we're gonna add all these lengths together here let's see here what else we got this length here so 32 plus 10.52 plus 44 plus 10.52 plus 12 plus click this point this arc and this point plus 24.66 plus 13. So if we took all those numbers and we added them up, that would give us our flat length. And this is where K-factor can be really useful because it doesn't matter what the angle of the bend is and it doesn't matter what the radius of the bend is, K-factor is gonna be a very nice, flexible solution. Now, the truth is that you can probably get it more dialed in using one of those charts. You know, those charts are time-tested. The team on the shop floor really knows what that length should be. So if all your bends are always 90 degrees, you're probably better off using bend allowance or bend deduction, but if you work with a lot of variety, a lot of variety of angles, a lot of variety of radii, then you might be better off trying to dial in a good K factor ratio. So now if we exit this sketch and then we go over here to our sheet metal feature, we right mouse button, we say edit feature. We're gonna change this to use K factor as our bend allowance. We're gonna set the K factor value to 0 0.35. And now let's take a look at this thing in the flat. So now when we look at this thing in the flat, if we click on this edge here, we can see that that edge is now coming up with 10.52. If we click on this edge here, we can see that that edge is coming up with a length of 10.52. And if we click on that larger region of the model, look at that, that looks much better for that bent face. And if we click on this edge here, now we see we're coming up with 24.66, just like we showed in the offset entities example when we measured that arc length. And that is K-Factor in sheet metal. It's a really handy tool to know about. It's really useful to understand how it works and why it works. And it's a really common question that I get from my students. So if you enjoyed this explanation, let me know down in the comments below. Let me know if you learned anything. Of course, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to like and subscribe. And if you like my style of training, be sure to visit us at twotalltoby.com training. And that's it for this video. I'll see everybody in the next one.